you guys so for today's video um i've been getting a lot of dms about how i found housing at rasmus and so i figured why not make a video about it right also quick story time before i get started so i went to target today <coughs> i went to target today because my friend and i are gonna make fried oreos and i really like mint chocolate stuff like i just think that Mint chocolate is a combination that was created by God. Like, the person that created mint chocolate was a reincarnation of Jesus Christ. Like, at the freaking, what's it called? The, um, at the Last Supper, everyone was like, yo, God, what's for dessert? And he was like, bitches, y'all ain't ready. And then he pulled out, like, a spread of mint chocolate stuff like mint chocolate ice cream mint chocolate milkshakes mint chocolate oreos mint chocolate ch uh chips mint chocolate cookies like he just like busted it all out and everyone was like Phew. so i think that's how mint chocolate stuff got created and i really wanted some mint chocolate oreos but for some reason um target only had the mint thins and i was like no no this is we're not doing this so i just had to buy like the regular double stuff but anyway enough of that let's get started so when it came to finding housing in the Netherlands, it was honestly really hard. Um, I was stressed because obviously I was in San Francisco trying to find housing abroad and I just didn't know like what price ranges. Everyone kept telling me at our orientation, um, this guy told us to not pay more than, I think not more than 500, but everything was like 500, 600. So I was like, I'm confused. Can I find something better or did prices just go up? And so, no matter how hard I searched, I just couldn't find anything in general. Like, there weren't a lot of rooms being posted. So, and, like, everything was kind of like um, a year-long lease or a sublease. And I just didn't want to put myself in a year-long lease because I was very indecisive between semester and year. So, finally, um, I think it was maybe two weeks before I left San Francisco, I got um, added into the Facebook group, which was uh, for all the exchange students at Erasmus. And then on there, our exchange coordinator had posted, um, has everyone found housing or like, how's your housing situations? And this was back, like she posted it in July and this was already late August. And I started reading all the comments and people were like, oh, if you need a room, like we need one more person and stuff like that. I was so frustrated that I hadn't been added into the group beforehand, but it's fine. So then I commented and was like, oh, like I still don't have housing. Can you please help me? Blah, blah, blah. And so then she said, um, there's one girl who's going on exchange and um, she's going to sublease her apartment message me so then i messaged her and i was like because i saw that this other girl was like oh i need a room too so i was like mm -mm, i need a room <laughs> and so then um i messaged her and i was like hey like this is Danita. i need a room i'm there for a semester blah, blah blah so then i messaged the girl and then she goes um oh i only want to sublease my room for the semester so i was like fuck it i'm gonna stay for the semester then <laughs> and so i subleased that from late August when I arrived until December 24th technically but she didn't come back until January 3rd and so then I stayed there through the end and then um January 3rd I moved into an air January 4th I think yeah I stayed at a hostel one night because my um my Airbnb didn't start until the 4th and so I booked an Airbnb from January 4th through the 24th and that was like that was expensive that was like 650 euros and the rent that i was paying in my room was i think like 485 euros so it was, i thought it was a pretty good deal i do want to say that because i live in san francisco i think rent anywhere else is cheap so right now my rent in san francisco is 650 dollars not including utilities so it adds up to be about 70 dollars or 70 dollars i wish 700 dollars per month and i share a room so in the Netherlands, I was paying 485 all inclusive for my own room. That was literally the size of our living room and kitchen. Yeah, like my room in the Netherlands was huge. And so I thought I was like living my best life out there. So someone did message me saying that a lot of the rooms that she has been seeing in the Netherlands 
were around 600 and I think that's a pretty average price right now in Rotterdam because a lot of my friends were paying about 600 euros for their room and personally I don't think that's bad like if it's your own room that's pretty cheap and then um so that's that's how pricing is looking in my opinion I don't think like I know me and my friend Zor both had like 400 euro rooms but um, we just had good deals. Everyone else was paying more like 500 to 600 euros. Um, I think someone told me they were paying like 700 to 800 and it, it was like, if you're paying 700 to 800, like that's a lot, that's a scam, don't do that. <laughs> um, you can definitely find something a lot cheaper. That's for pricing. For finding a place, I would suggest using Housing Anywhere um, Facebook groups, like I said, they will be sending you a link to the Facebook group and like request to join immediately if they don't add you within a month or so, or maybe like two to three weeks, I would email your exchange coordinator and be like, yo, add me to the group. Cause there's always people there who are looking for rooms and you guys can get together and find an apartment together. And, um, I don't remember if there were any other websites that were recommended but I would say Facebook and Housing Anywhere. And then if worse comes to worse, you can check Airbnb. The Airbnb that I was staying at did rent out to exchange students. Like the entire place was taken up by exchange students who were there for a year. But I honestly don't recommend it because it was, um, like I said, I paid 650 for the 24, for the 20 days that I was there. And, um, it was a really really tiny room where like I could just kind of spin around so I don't recommend that place I don't know if it's different if you're renting for a year or not but eh. it and it wasn't even that close to university either like it took me 30 to 40 minutes because I was a slow biker so technically it's about 27 minutes from university and it would take me like 30 minutes to get there because Towards the end, I hadn't realized that my tires were flat as fuck, so that's why it was taking me forever, and it was snowing, so, you know, I was just struggling out there, but it's fine. And what else for housing? Um, oh, also the, the on-campus dorms, I believe those are also 650, and one of my friends actually lived in the dorms, and they seemed pretty nice to me, I mean... I mean, I've seen SF State dorms and those dorms are trash. So these ones were pretty nice. Like they had hardwood floors. You have this little desk in there. You have a twin size bed, a closet. Um, the kitchen is communal. You get one uh, bathroom to share between, I think like three or four people. And what else? Um, and you're on campus. So that's pretty convenient. You are farther away from like the city and stuff, but you're on campus. So chilling. Excuse me. What else? In regards to housing, I honestly, I did struggle and I didn't find housing until two, it was maybe one week and like a week and a half to two weeks before I left to the Netherlands. So that was a little scary, but there were a lot of students there who struggled even a month into our exchange, still find, trying to find housing. So yeah, I would recommend those two things, Facebook and Housing Anywhere. And if any of you are Dutch and you're watching and you have a better suggestion, please leave it in the comments because there's a lot of people wondering what they can do to find housing. And honestly, I was struggling, so I can't give that much input. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I think I'm gonna be making a weekly video about questions that I had going abroad because like a lot of you have said that you've researched Erasmus University and you haven't found anything aside from my videos and honestly same like I tried to look up Erasmus so many times because I had no idea what this university was no one talks about the Netherlands so I was kind of like what am I putting myself into or what am I like going into you know I had no idea so I'll try to answer questions in those videos and if you have specific ones please let me know um, I think the next one's going to be about the visa process because that was a struggle so yeah let me know if you guys would like to see more about Erasmus University because your girl struggled and I totally feel you guys. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.